Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Welcome to Buy Time. I'm Jacob DeGate, and it's my pleasure to introduce Janet Rodas, who's here uh, from Golden Meadow, for our, to introduce our bring. Let us know all about the Louisiana Boulettes and Balloons Festival. Can yeah, thank you for having us. This is our second annual event. Uh, this is our uh, big fundraiser for our animal rescue that we have in Golden Meadow, uh, the Positive Enforcement Project. Um, we help animals all over the country, and uh, so this is how we raise money to be able to do that. Okay, and uh, I remember, uh, you know, last year when y'all came on, you know, it's, it's a big thing to, to get, uh, you know, people that come uh, that are really, uh, you know, interested in flying or, you know, pilots than hot air balloons. And of course, it's a science in itself, and it certainly is something that you don't see every day or Right. We wanted to do, do something unique and creative um, because there are so many festivals and fairs uh, in Louisiana, and we thought this would be a great way to attract people not only from the bayou but from, from the region. And uh, this year uh, we have people coming as far away as uh, uh, Conroe, Texas, and wow. someone from Oklahoma. So uh, we're really excited about bringing people to, uh, to the bayou and really excited that ho we're hoping that we'll be able to get the balloons up this year uh, last year we weren't able to do that because the winds weren't favorable but the pilots are monitoring the wind and it remains favorable that they can go up well that that certainly will be uh interesting to, to see if, if people can go out there and, and have a once in a lifetime experience see, seeing that uh, and of course uh you got it's it's a two day uh, event. It starts on May seventeenth. Is that right? Right. Friday night. Uh, we start at five to ten. We have uh, schools out and circle uh, two band local bands that'll be performing. Uh, we'll have um, of course our featured dish, the uh, boulettes, many mm -hmm. forms of that. Uh, the most popular, the shrimp boulette. Uh, so, and then on Saturday, uh, the gates open at ten and uh, goes to nine. And we have uh, Benjamin Bruce performing. Um, we have the Roger Dowdy band. And then, of course, everyone's favorite, uh, Ryan 4A and 4A Tradition will be closing out the festival for us this year. Well, that's a that's a big one. That that should be a, a great time. Uh, yeah, and some good food again. So it... Are you a big fan of boulettes? Is that something that you like? Well, or? I'll be honest with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm a transient to the bayou. I've, uh, I've had a secondary home uh, uh, there since uh, the 90s and permanently moved there several years ago. And I really wasn't aware of what a boulette was. <laughs> and I've learned that it's a, it's a, it's a favorite by, by many. And it's not a lot of people that can still prepare this dish. And so that's why it's so popular. So sure. we got a popular dish and so uh, a unique activity with the balloons and also we have our uh, automobile uh, show on Saturday as well which was a great draw for us last year uh, trucks cars motorcycles jeeps and so um, we're uh, including that again this year as well because it was so popular in attendance last year okay and that's uh that's a they have a $20 entry fee for those cars to get in. Is that what I see? Yes, it has a $20 entry fee. And uh, again, all the proceeds go to, to our animal rescue. Uh, uh, in addition to um, boulettes, we're going to have um, some great um, barbecue dishes uh, prepared from a, a local smokehouse, um, uh, shrimp and grits, and jambalaya. L lots of great food, which everyone enjoys. Lots of great music. And it's going to be a good Good time for all. A good time. Come, come see out. Uh, you know, see the hot air balloons, and also see all all your friends from the community as well. And it sounds like a, a great time. And and that y'all really did a, a good thing that uh, you know to attract people, like you said, that you wouldn't normally 
uh, I guess, come out to, to a fair. And, and, but this is something that may bring the people that are just not fair hoppers that, that actually want to come see something different. Yeah, our, our vendors last year uh, were very uh, static about the attendance and the people that did come in because they weren't just locals. We, we, we drew people from all over Alabama, Florida, Mississippi last year. And so it's, it's great for our vendors uh, to, to have a new audience as well. And um, so, uh, and also we'd like to remind everyone that uh, admission is free. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to keep our uh, food costs and drink costs down uh, so it can be affordable and a great weekend for the family. Great, uh, you know, free weekend and, and see some good uh, bands, you know, in, in person right there. That, that That's always fun to just come out there and, and have a good time like that. Yeah, well, they're going to have lots of uh, a variety of bands this weekend for sure, and I'm sure it'll be something for everyone to enjoy. And and with that food, too, they'll have, uh, even if you don't eat boulettes, you can find something. Like you said, you have, uh, you know, barbecue, or jambalaya, many different things that uh, that uh, are, are always uh, good to have uh, when you're sitting around having a good time like that. Yeah, and uh, I'm really excited. We have uh, approximately 80 vendors that are going to have their uh, items on exhibit, uh, uh, handmade and uh, very creative. So uh, we encourage everyone to come out and uh, just, just spend the weekend with us for a great cause because right now our rescue is fostering over 50 cats and kittens and two dogs at the moment. And we have uh, oh, wow. rescued ferrets, we've rescued pigs, uh, uh, owls, uh, uh, a Mississippi kite recently, so uh, we could really use the community support. Uh, that, that certainly is a, is a lot to take care of for sure, uh, and a lot of uh, cat food that I'm sure I eat. Uh, lots of cat food and lots of litter. <laughs> wow, that, that's true, that's true, but uh, there won't be any cat litter over there at uh, Boulettes and Balloon Festival. That'll be May 17th and 18th. Come out, have a good time. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for Let having us. All righty, stay tuned for more right here on HTV. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights.